Storytime com. I live in a pretty popular lake town, and I've been here all of my life. There are a ton of tourists and visitors but it's still usually pretty quiet. Except for the summer that I still can't explain. In my early 20s one of my really good friends John, convinced me to be a lifeguard. We had worked together just about every summer so I agreed even though I had this really bad feeling about the whole thing. I can't really explain it but I just knew something was gonna happen. One day me and John are at our post and we see this guy swimming. That's normal because that's what you do at a lake. I was watching him because he was getting closer and closer to the same safety line. I thought he was maybe training for something so I waited, hoping he would get to the line and turn around. But that's not what happened. And everything that did happen still gives me the creeps. I watched as this dude starts going over the safety line. It made absolutely no sense because it's easier to just go under. I started blowing my whistle but this guy didn't even flinch. He just continued to struggle trying to get over the floating line in the water. Something about the way he moved made me feel really uncomfortable. I guess the best way to explain it is he seemed robotic. John realized he wasn't responding so he went to get a light lifesaver. It was completely normal for one of us to swim out and bring the person back to shore, but my stomach got really tight and I felt like I might be sick. I don't know why but I knew without a doubt that we could not get in that water. John must have felt it too because when I told him to get the boat instead, he didn't put up a fight. By the time we got the boat in the water the guy we had to get was pretty far out, and it was the weirdest thing ever. I watched over and over as people swam up to the safety line like they wanted to help, but then just didn't. When we asked them why after everything that happened, they all said the same thing. They felt like they weren't alone. Alone. To make it even weirder the guy who swam all the way out, had stopped swimming. He was somehow completely still in one spot, like he was standing on something. The closer John and I got the more it felt like we were making a terrible mistake. We kept calling out to the swimmer but he never even blinked. We got right next to him with the boat but he still didn't even look at us. Me and John each grabbed an arm and started to pull him up onto the boat and it was so easy that we both flew backwards. Neither of us expected him to be so light and then we looked down. It turns out the rest of him was completely gone. He never screamed and he never fought. But that's not the worst part. When we looked out over the water there was nothing, not even a ripple. Everything was completely calm.